the joystick based on the PlayStation 2 controller's joystick, actually. This joystick uses biaxial potentiometers uh, to control the X and Y axis. When pushed down, it also activates a switch. It can be used to control a wide range of projects such as RC vehicles, collar LEDs, Ratchet and Clank, or Sly Cooper. If you want to learn more about the hardware of potentiometers, which is what this is based off, it's basically just two potentiometers sort of put together on an axis, then check out our video on it in this playlist. Maybe we'll link it down below. Next, we can take a look at the wiring diagram provided below and uh, temporarily on screen. Again, pause if needed, and we can put the part together. For this example, we will be using pins A0 for the X axis, which is analog input zero and we will be using a one analog input one for the y axis so on here you can see that we have uh, a zero is the blue wire so you can think of this as x so on this pin it outputs what the x value is that it reads off of the x potentiometer and on the um, one next with the green one it reads off what the y one is so if you're wondering how, where, what signal is being sent or how it detects it, X is on blue, um, Y would be on green, um, and then if the button ever gets pressed on here, we're going to have that one go to input digital input 2. Simply, it's just a button. And of course, 5 volt goes to 5 volt and ground goes to ground as usual. We can then take the code that was provided to us and we can then hit the magical upload button. I'm going to plug this in real quick not plugged in. Select the board, do that. And I can then open up the serial monitor. I'm reading on the correct baud rate, serial.begin 115200. So I want to select that exact same baud rate. And as you can see, it is currently saying that the X axis is 518 and the Y is 504. But what if I like switch that? Okay, so I'm pushing X all the way over here to the left area. So let me kind of show you on screen. Left, and then it brings it all up almost all the way to 1024. I'm going to guess it's one below 1024. 1024 is my guess is the upper limit. If I do this down below, it goes down to zero. So I'm guessing it goes from zero to 1024. I can already tell just by looking at the code here. We go on the Y axis all the way this way. Now, Y is all the way at 1024. I can slowly make it go down maybe? Ish? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, slightly, but okay, seven. Then we're right about at 512, which is right about where the middle is, and then I can go all the way to the left, boop, zero, slowly bring it up, up, up. And if I go in a little circle thing like this, I can just make everything funky. And then if I press the buttons like this, Obviously, pressing it down, zero, switch to zero, holding it up, one, zero, and I can just switch between here. So it is able to read uh, where it is on the x-axis, where it is on the y-axis, given like a coordinate plane. And uh, yeah, that's just about it on the joystick. Uh, game on, and see you guys later.